video that I've seen floating around YouTube for quite a long time now and it's a British person tries American snacks. Now I know a lot of the videos are like American candy and American sweets, however I hate sweets, I cannot stand them, I think they're awful, I know everyone loves them but I'm a bit of a weirdo and I don't like sweets. So I thought, you know, I'll mix it up, I'll do my own version and I'm going to just try American snacks. So when I'm normally at the grocery store, I walk past various aisles and I feel like they're things that you wouldn't get back in England or things that I haven't ever tried before. So they may not be your typical American snacks but I've kind of gone for a mix of things that I feel like might be good to try. So, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below. So, whew, I'm already quite warm. <laughs> I've got like a selection of various things from like crisps and biscuits and pop tarts. So some of the things I actually need to heat up and some of them I can eat now. So winning at that, I've got so many things. I feel like I should start with one thing that I don't have to cook so I don't have to go downstairs, which I know is so lazy, but you know. First off, I got this, which is called a Yoohoo. It's just a chocolate milk type drink, but I always remember on an episode of Friends, Monica said, do you want a Yoohoo with a, with a jazzy straw? Or she said something like that, so I was like, do you know what? Whilst I was in Walmart yesterday, they have these little cartons of it. I mean, I'm gonna love it because it's chocolate milk. But I, well, but I'd give it a go. It was quite cheap as well. There was like 12 of these, I think, and it was like 350. I mean, they are really, really small, but I'm quite excited about this and it's so cold. Ooh, I used to love chocolate milk from Spain. So, I mean, I'm all over this. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, it's so chocolatey. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So nice. It has got 100 calories in this little tiny pot. However, I'll take the 100 calories because it's cracking. So, what should we start with first? I feel like, do I want to start with these? I'm going to start with these. They literally, everyone raves about these and I've never had them before. They have all different flavours, and at Pete's Hot out here, they make a pizza inside of Cheez-It. And I mean, I've never had them. And this one was called Cheez-It Duos. Some are bacon flavoured and some are cheese. So I was like, ha, huh, I love bacon. So I'm going to give these a go. But they had like regular flavoured ones. Mmm. They had regular cheese. They had, they had spicy ones. Ugh, they don't smell very good. They smell just like artificial cheese. How am I gonna know what one's bacon? I feel like this is cheese. Mmm. Oh my god, they actually taste like a like a pizza. Maybe it's just because I was they're not very big, but they're incredible. Maybe it's just because I've got bacon and cheese flavoured. Wow. They kind of taste like the ones at home, you know, the little lunch, I don't know what they're called. The little round ones that come in them little snack bags. I can't think what they're called. If you know what they're called, leave me a comment down below, but I'm talking about then the yellow packet. They're like round, cheesy biscuit things. Yum. I mean, I don't know what ones are cheese and what ones are bacon, but they all taste delicious. Like, mmm. I could eat a lot of them. They're so good. Wowza. 10 out of 10. Mmm. Why are they so good? Right, my next thing. I'm going to go heat it up. I feel like I should do my heated up things and then I haven't got to go downstairs again. Next up, I've got Pop-Tarts. They're chocolate chip cookie dough. They had so many flavours, like fruity ones, birthday cake. Some of them I wasn't a fan of. So I thought... I'll go with something I might like. I feel like I had these years ago when I was really young back in the UK and I thought they were disgusting. But you know, we're going to give them a go. And then also I need to go downstairs and heat up Kraft Mac and Cheese in a pot. I just bought this single pot 
Remove lid and cheese and sauce, mix, add water. Love it. I think this is going to be disgusting, but I went for Kraft because I know Kraft's like the biggest mac and cheese brand that they have out here. So I thought I'll give this one a whirl as well. So I'll be back with my two heated things. Wish me luck. Egg. Right. First off, I don't want to say the mac and cheese looks gross, but I'm just going to let that cool down for a minute because I'm not too sure how I feel about that. But anyway, first off, I've got the cookie... First up I have the chocolate chip cookie dough pop tart. I only cooked one because I mean I've got so much food to eat. But it looks quite nice actually. Look, it's got like some icing on. It smells really chocolatey though. Mm. I don't know if you can see, literally there's nothing in there. It doesn't even look like there's any filling. I feel like I'm massively let down by this. I knew I didn't like pop tarts. I just feel like they're so meh. I'm just ripping it apart to see. Like there's no... Like I just ripped it just to see if I could get any cookie dough. There isn't any. I'm hoping I was going to enjoy these because I've now got like a box of 24. And I'm going to have to eat them at some point. But there's no cookie dough. It doesn't even taste of cookie dough. Sorry, Pop-Tarts. You're just not for me. Like, I know they've kind of been around forever. So they must, like, be quite popular. But they're just not for me. I don't know whether you consider it a snack. But it's this Kraft Mac and Cheese. I mean, you could say it's a snack. Because it's just one of them microwavable ones. Firstly, it's so yellow. It's, like, fake yellow. Like, that... I'm having a mare, I'm having a mare, I'm having a mare. Water's just poured all over me. Happy days. But it just looks fake yellow. Like, I'm sorry, Kraft mac and cheese, but you just look very fake. Is this like a staple in America? I don't even know. I mean, I live here and I don't even know if it's a staple in America. It smells so weird. They're tiny bits of pasta as well. It tastes of nothing. It doesn't even taste of cheese. Oh. Taste of anything. Like it doesn't taste like it's got any cheese in whatsoever. The cheese came in a packet inside and it was like um, powder. And then like you mixed it in with the water in it. It went like yellow, just this yellow color once you mix the powder in. But I mean, it doesn't taste of cheese doesn't smell of cheese. I mean, I'm let down by this. I'd rather make my own mac and cheese. Hmm. I guess it would be good if you was at work and you like wanted something quick to eat because all I had to do was put some water in. Sorry guys, the lighting in this room, it keeps going off and on. But yeah, it'd be good if you was at work and you wanted something quick to eat and like you literally could just microwave and eat it. However, it's not for me. Like, I'd much rather have a pot noodle, because pot noodles are the best. So, I'm going to give that like a three or a four. I haven't actually got that much more. I've just got a lot of cakes and snacks, which is the whole purpose of this video. Next, I got these. I Don't judge me. I bought Walmart's own brand because I just did. But I always see these. They're fudge striped shortbread cookies. Now, I always see these. They have like a proper branded make of them. But, you know, I'm a cheapskate and I just wanted to get the Walmart own one. Ooh. Okay. Can you see? First off, they do not look like shortbread, as I know shortbread anyway. And the chocolate smells very dark. I feel a bit disappointed. Is that the second time I've said that about something? I don't know. To me, it doesn't taste of fudge. It says fudge striped shortbread. <laughs> it doesn't taste a fudge. I mean, it tastes nice, but not what I want it to taste like. However, I would eat these if they were in the biscuit jar. 
all the sweet stuff and then finish on crisps because otherwise I'm going to have too many things. Next thing I've bought, well actually I've got two things from this aisle because that blows my mind. Thinking about it, we have the same kind of things in the UK, but there's a whole aisle where they've got like cakes in boxes, they have donuts in boxes, so obviously they're not fresh. And I used to think that, I used to be mind blown by them and think, oh my gosh, we never have them in, at home. But now I've actually got them home, I'm thinking we have a whole aisle at home as well with things like this, like fondant fancies and all that jazz. So, it is no different to that, I guess. But these ones, I always like the packaging. I get lured in by the packaging. It looks, they look cool. So these are called Star Crunch Cookies with Caramel and Crisp Rice. Sounds a lot. But it looked to me like a Rice Krispie cake, which is actually why I bought them, because I love Rice Krispie cakes. Ta-da! To me, they just look like a Rice Krispie cake that's flattened. You know, like a round. These were like $1, and there's 12 of them. God, the calories, the calories. Okay, here we go. These are delicious. Oh my gosh. Yum. Yes. These are great. They're really gooey. It's just cookies. I don't think there's a cookie in this. It's literally like a rice crispy cake. Melted chocolate and caramel to make it all gooey. There can't be an actual cookie. How is there an actual cookie? I don't believe you. You're lying. These are great. Mmm. These are like an 8 out of 10. Mmm. -hmm. So the next thing that I bought, just to compare to home to see... No. I got these basically to compare them to the UK ones to see if they're the same. Because I forgot how much I enjoyed a chocolate log chocolate swiss roll so i got these ones which is the same brand as the other ones and they're just chocolate swiss rolls they come in a two pack again not two they come in two in a packet i mean i don't need to right now because i'm quite full oh okay so you've got two chocolate rolls i'm just gonna have one because otherwise i may be sick Oh, goodness. Okay. They're quite sticky. Mmm. Little Debbie is coming through. Yes, Little Debbie. Little Debbie is the brand of all these cakes. She knows what she's talking about. Congrats, Little Debbie. Mmm. These are incredible. I couldn't eat two there. You can't taste the cream as much as the ones at home, but they still taste really good. I've got two more things to go. Thank you, because I'm getting really full. I always feel like I go in and eat the whole thing, and like people that do these videos must really have like one bite, but I don't really do that, and then I regret it. My last two things I've got are savoury. So I bought savoury Chex Mix. Now, Chex Mix comes in all different flavours. This one is a bold party blend. But they've got, um, on the back it says they've got traditional cheddar, turtle, which I think has got caramel and chocolate, jalapeno. Uh, they had like honey, I think, when I was at Walmart. They just do a load of flavours. And they're like really good for parties because you can... I've had one flavour before, not these ones, but they've got all like, I don't know if you can see, but like all different like picky things. So they've got like pretzels. These are actually cereal, which is so random, but you have them as a snack. But yeah, I've never tried this. Trust me to buy the family size, because you know, first off, they start from, there. this whole bit of the bag is empty. I mean, I know they do that everywhere, but still. So, oh, they smell like, um, a packet of Walkers, Worcestershire sauce ones. So you have like different ones, like crisp breads, like the pretzels. What else you got? These, which are like actual cereal. So 
heard that. That was a bit noisy. They're very strong. I love these. I love Tex Mix. They're so easy to eat. They're one of them things. If I was at a party and someone put a bowl of these in front of me, I would just keep eating them until I felt sick. But they're really good. Really good. If we're out here on holiday, you should get these. And then you can just pick through the holiday with them because they're so delicious. But they're really tasty. Yes! I think I'm going to try is Cheetos. I've never actually had Cheetos and I know they do like crunchy ones and like more puffy ones. But these are flaming hot crunchy Cheetos. I know this area is like a bit blurry which is kind of annoying but yeah flaming hot crunchy Cheetos. I don't really like spicy stuff but I thought I'm just gonna oh that smell. Sorry if that put anybody of the situation but that smell what the heck uh, oh no if i'm oh they smell grim they smell bad what the oh look how red they are that indicates that they're going to be really spicy doesn't it i mean it's burning my tongue a tad wow they don't taste like they smell. The smell was awful. I don't even know what they. Oh, ha, ye, ha. I don't know what they step. <coughs> I don't know what they taste of. Wow, these are flaming hot and they had extra flaming hot. Sod that. Who would eat them? Someone that can eat spicy food. My mouth is burning. I mean, if I had a handful of these, I'd be in a bad way. Oh. I like the texture. Like, I like that they're crunchy. Maybe a bit too spicy for me. I know I keep eating them, though. My mouth is very warm. I, I mean, they're not quite... They're not the worst things that I've ever eaten, but they're also not the best. And like, as you can tell by the colour, way off by three. I mean, if someone's ever tried the extra flaming hot ones, leave me a comment down below and let me know how hot they are because I couldn't go another level up from these. My mouth, this is actually me, like how he's got fire coming out of his mouth. That is me right now. Anyway, that is the end of my snacks and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I feel like now some of the things have surprised me more than I thought. Like for example, these cakes I thought were going to be really naff and just pre-packaged because they'd been like made and packaged up. I thought they were going to be really rubbish and because obviously they weren't the most expensive things in the world, I didn't have high hopes of them. However, really really good the cheese its i liked them i would most probably try a different flavor but again really good my mouth is getting hotter the more i talk yes love them the biscuits were average however i'm sorry craft and i know you own the new england patriots which is who i support you're not for me your mac and cheese is not for me just, i'm not a fan like look i haven't I, where it's just been sat it's all stuck together now like imagine that in your stomach <laughs> These, I like them, however, they are really spicy. <laughs> but I really enjoyed this video. I love trying different things and it's nice to like show you guys, especially if you're coming to visit from the UK, different snacks you might want to pick up. I mean, I know everybody already has lists of snacks that they want to try, but also I hopefully have pointed out some things you've most probably never tried before. So add them to your list the next time you come and visit because some of them are really, really good. Some not so much, but some are really good. Make sure to also get the YooHoo chocolate milk because that was cracking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I said at the beginning, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and I will see you all next time with a new video. Goodbye!